Hey, good morning, and welcome back to Ohio Farm. It's December 3. I don't know where the snow is. We got snow, like, at the very beginning of the month, and haven't seen any since. I don't know if anything's going on. We sold most of our grain... And uh, sunflowers may be January, February time frame and silage may be January, February time frame as well. Got another honey pallet? No. Uh, I guess we could head over to the West Place, maybe grab a hay bale to take to the wildlife feeding station. Check prices uh, for silage, maybe. Then other than that, wow. Check his equipment. Do need to buy the milk truck at some point. I'm um, just got my fingers crossed. It's gonna show up in used equipment. We got what a few months for it to potentially show up. I threw it that other time so that wouldn't happen. Oh man. container field. Put a hay bale in here. Oh wow, there's still one there. Okay. Which is left in that one? Oh, not much. It's gonna be gone in a second. Maybe. Okay, while well, well, we wait for that to go away, let's go ahead and check, uh, see what's going on in the uh, contracts, used equipment, prices. Contracts, nothing. It's 
silage is about ten dollars off the uh, historical high. Sunflowers are way low. Used equipment. Nah. Nothing we can use. There we go. Just in time. Put a new one in. Well, so much for the end of December. morning it's January now we did get some snow uh, but it's mostly melted off the kids were able to make a couple of snowmen again but uh, yeah the accumulation didn't stick so we're in January now we'll see if anything oh good god that was horrible You're better than that, Jim. Oh, God, a brick. Third time will be a charm. I promise you. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Let's see what's going on. I, that honey palette should be done by now, I think. Yep. So... We could go do that. So let's do I have to have the truck run and open the tailgate. Yes. That's silly. There we go. That's silly. December we didn't have much to do. Ooh, Yeath, what's going on? Why does it look like it wants to go underneath it? Oh, that's why. It's all right. forward a little here. No. Hmm. Is 
That seemed to work. Let's turn the lights on. See what will spawn here when we move this out of the way. Hmm, nothing, I guess. Oh, there we go. We got two honey pallets to sell, but that's only 800 liters of honey, so it won't be a lot of money. Okay, let's head over to the west place. We'll grab a hay bale over there and uh, take it over to the wildlife feeding station. Although the money looks like it's still going up, so it's still consuming the last bale that we put in there. So maybe it'll be gone by the time we sell the honey pallets. We'll take a look. Didn't get any accumulation of snow, but we've got a little bit of frost on the ground. It seems lighter out than it was uh, at the end of December. Lighter a little earlier. Of course, it took us a little time to load the honey pallet, so maybe I need to take that into account. And then we got the silage in the stave silo here, so we might could look at trying to sell that too. Let me grab a hay bale out of here. Try and be careful this time. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it out so I don't catch it on the straw bales again. There we go. We'll put it in the back of the pickup here. And probably, probably should strap it down. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what we got to do with these uh, honey pallets. Let's check the prices on that. We'll check the price on solids as well. What do we got? So, ooh, 352 with a historical high of 347. That's uh, that's good. Okay, where are the milk? 1374. A little below. It's a good price. So if we get our milk truck, we could sell our milk. Yeah. Ohio Agri Co-op. Okay, where is honey, 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 honey? There it is. Um, 1845 at Ohio Agri Co-op. So I guess that's where we'll go with that. 1770 farm shop. All right. So to the co-op, sell the honey pallets.
interesting. When we're checking the uh, prices for the honey pallets, the sell everything container didn't have a price for them. So apparently you can't sell everything there. So I'm assuming that the uh, honey pallets are going to go the same place where we sold the bales. So we'll pull in here and then we'll flip the pickup around and back up to that area just inside the fence. And yep, there they go. Okay, almost $1,500. Not much, but turn those straps. Those go. There we go. $1,500, but you know, we really didn't do anything for it. You know, it's just the bees making the honey. We had to pay for the hive, but other than that, it was just free money after eventually pays for itself um, I was thinking about heading over to the uh, to the field but I don't know if I'm gonna do that let's check use equipment quick and yeah, nothing for us I was gonna go over and take the hay bale over there but I, I don't know it's still it's still got the one in there so Let's head to the west place, and uh, we'll start we'll start getting the silage out of there. Deliver that over, and we can take a look at the uh, wildlife feeding station while we're over at the uh, sell everything container selling the silage. So I'll see you at the west place in a minute. Got the JCB fast track here. Uh, it's the highest horsepower vehicle we have. Pull that uh, silage trailer because it's pretty big. It holds what better than fifty thousand liters, I think. So we're gonna start emptying the save silo here. I think uh, we probably got about two hundred thousand liters we could sell. back up. We'll start filling. There we go. Let's take a look, see what we have in here. I think it was like 255,000. Yeah. I mean, some of this out now, but so yeah, we can we can sell a bit and let's check the price again. It's at the sell everything, of course, and yeah. Uh, that's darn good price. So we'll probably try and sell as much as we can here. Spread it out through the trailer a little bit here. Even the load. And yeah. I'll, we can carry nearly 52,000 liters. Let's figure out how, which way can we go? Uh, let's just go out the driveway. Yeah, it's going to be the way to do it. So at that price, trying to figure this out. It says 50,000 per trailer. Um, Two trailers would be a hundred thousand. So that would be a forty. Nearly, I think, yeah. Be about twenty thousand. Not quite twenty thousand dollars for every trailer load. So let's get this over there and we'll see. We'll see what we can get for it.
Okay, arriving down here at the uh, sell everything container. So actually, the math's pretty easy. Uh, it's 352 per thousand liters. So say two trailer loads is 100,000 liters. It's a little more, but that would be uh, 35,200. So half of that would be one trailer. So one trailer should be about $18,000, roughly, something like that. So let's, uh, oh, I forgot to empty it. There we go. Let's see what we get. Money's going up. That's what we'd like to see. Rolls the stuff out the back, and we got 18,257. So, yeah, not quite 20,000 like I was hoping, but it's close. Um, so, yeah, we should make close to $80,000 uh, selling four loads of silage. Let's get back over the west place, fill it back up, get back over here again. And then a couple more times after that. Maybe we'll have enough money to, uh, well, we certainly have enough money to buy another truck. We might keep enough money to buy, uh, buy a field as well. All right, let's get this done. at the container field with the fourth load at the sell everything container and I almost forgot we got it to cover on the uh, trailer we paid extra for that oh that's a crazy deer down here again let's get this silage unloaded cover open 
This is the final load. We should have nearly $400,000 when this is over. Great deer. Let's check the, uh, uh, let's check the wildlife feeding station. Maybe he's trying to tell me something. We do have the bale in the back of the uh, pickup, but it's still going up. That's some here. How much is left? Nearly 300 liters, so this will be good for a while yet. Okay. You know where to go. He's gone now. All right, so we got $391,170 and climbing because we're still uh, selling that hay bale at the wildlife feeding station, so we're still consuming that and continue to rise. So let's uh, get the trailer back to the west place. We'll put the tractor away. And I think, I think uh, we might as well take care of the milk. It's a good price. Probably not going to be better before September, which is, what, nine months away? So, yeah, before it goes down more. We should probably sell some of that milk off, which means it's time to get a milk tanker, trailer, a milk truck, or something. So let's get this stuff put away and let's let's figure out what we're gonna do. So I'm down here at the vehicle store. Hogs equipment. I had Mrs. Nebraska Jim drop me off because I'm down here to buy our milk truck. So let me go inside, finalize some paperwork. Okay, $46,000. A little more than I wanted to spend. Could have... Uh, could have bought a trailer for like 25000 There was another truck that I was looking at, the like the Ford F400 uh, with the tank on the back, but we went with this one. So it says back $46,000. I was going to do white, uh, but I left it with the beige. I think it went better with the, kind of this blue, old school looking blue. So yeah, this is our milk truck for our dairy farm. I have not been in it yet. Pretty basic. Doesn't look that old inside. Nice. Fairly quiet. So we've got enough uh, milk at the dairy, I guess I can drive and talk, right? Let's head back to the west place. We'll fill this up with milk. This is a pretty good price. Probably as good as we'll see till maybe September next year. Um, so I figure let's go get some milk. Sell it before the price goes down. <laughs> So yeah, we're nearly at four hundred thousand dollars. We're down to three hundred and forty-five thousand. Still enough to buy that one field I was thinking about. Uh and that may be what we plan on doing. I think it's about three hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. Um so we'll just kind of hold on to the money for a little while longer just to make sure nothing else comes up. We do have some flour to sell in January, February time frame. 
price is not that good on it just yet. So we'll hold on to that a little longer. That'll help us out. Keeping the money up there. Now we don't have uh, the process melted. So yeah, it's January now. February and March are going to be pretty slow months. We need to repurpose the field that we have the oil seed radish on. So, yeah, that's something to do February, March time frame. Well, it's only January. We'll have to cultivate that in. Uh, pick the stones off of it. And get it ready to plant corn in April, I think. I think the milk trigger is on this side over here. Check, see if there's any other uh, features on this truck. Do we open the cover or anything? Let me check the help window. Nope. So we'll just start filling. It's a little slow. See if it's full of light yet. Yep. All right. So I think we're going to Ohio Agri Co op with it. it's a great demand for milk <laughs> that would be awesome I don't think it is well let's see oh oh whoa 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 oh. wreck my new truck <laughs> no
So I'm assuming that we deliver this to the same place that we delivered the honey pallets and the bales. Let's double check and make sure price is good. 1377 and the historical high is 1386 in September. So I think that's probably gonna be a good idea. Should be about what? 18,000 maybe? Sixteen and a half. Okay. It's not bad. I'm gonna check see what the high demand was for. This is for wool. Pulled in a bunch of money in this episode. Uh, we sold four trailer loads of silage, and we also we bought ourselves our milk truck, and we sold our first delivery of milk. So we've had cows for just over a year and now we have produced. I don't know. I hope it gets better. figure out where to keep this. Guess we can put it in the building for now. There's room for it. have to move it to uh, pull the tractors out but hey it's winter time there's not much else going on so yeah I think it'll be fine thanks for hanging out with me here at the Ohio farm hope you enjoyed it I hope you come back and see us again we'll see you next time Thank you.